I'll start by ripping both of these to width and then we'll go to the miter saw to do the mitered corners. maximize my use of this wood. So I'm going to start by mitering one corner, then measuring, and then mitering the other corner. I'm planning on going in about 5 sixteenths of an inch for the inset on the frame, or for the picture. My artwork's 11 inches by 17 inches. So this mark right here is my 17th and 1 8th of an inch. I'm just going to come in here with a 45 degree angle and mark it. And I'll cut to this side. For the second 17 inch piece, I want them to both be the same length. So I've come across to the other end and I've felt by touch and and felt that both miters are lined up perfectly. I'm going to then cut this side to the same length and that way I'll have the same length on both sides. Now I'll mark the 11 inch piece of wood. Cut this oversized so that I can have a little bit more room to just dial in and make sure that both uh, 11 inch lengths are perfectly in line with each other. On this side you can see how I've lined up both pieces so that they're in, in line with each other, so that they're flush with each other. I've got it stacked on top of each other, so I'll cut both at the same time and we'll end up with the same length. Now that the miters are cut, we're going to go back to the table saw and cut a rabbit on here using a dado blade. With the dados done, now I can just glue everything up and then let it dry overnight. Perfect. I've set up the tenoning jig on my table saw. I'm going to use this to spline the miters that we made for the frame. It'll help reinforce them so that it's stronger. Anytime I rip a board to width, I'll save the offcuts. 
We can use the offcast for edge banding or for this project, I'll use it for the splines and the miters. I'm going to use this uh, walnut that I have left over because it's a shorter piece and it fits almost perfect. I'll let the splines dry overnight. You can see that the splines themselves weren't quite long enough to reach the corner of the frame. That's not a big deal. I'll end up chamfering the corners anyway. With the glue dried, I'll cut the splines flush with the frame. I'll sand it down with some 120 grit sandpaper and get rid of any glue that might be remaining on the outside of the wood. I've set the frame in the middle of my garage floor so that nothing combustible is nearby it. I'm using a camp propane cylinder that would normally be used for a propane stove uh, so that it's a little more stable when I set it down.
Now that I'm done using the torch on the frame, I'm going to come back and use a wire brush to brush away some of the ash uh, on it. And since that is kind of dusty, I'm going to use a, a, a dust mask while I do this. I've been vacuuming periodically because this ash uh, tends to get everywhere. I've also put down this paper underneath the frame before I even started this because you don't want to do this anywhere you're worried about getting dirty. Uh, your hands are going to get dirty uh, and again we're, we're dust protection. I've finished with the wire brush and it's revealed a really nice texture uh, to the to the wood. All the softer part of the grain is has burned away while the harder part is still there. And it doesn't show up on camera, but you can certainly feel it in person. I'm gonna come back over it with some Danish oil to help set in the color and harden it up. Now that the oil's dried, I'm going to spray it with shellac. I'll let that dry and come back with a few more coats. With the shellac dry, I can finally add the artwork that I wanted to make the frame for. I got this last year at the Denver Comic Con, uh, met Kevin Eastman at his booth. Um, his wife and his crew were great people. Um, I'd highly recommend seeing him or any of the symposiums that he'd be at at any other Comic Cons. But uh, I actually purchased three of these, so I've made three frames. This is the third of the three, and um, I'm pretty excited about hanging this up. Instead of glass, I'm using plastic sheeting. I was able to cut that on the table saw prior to this project. I'm also using a uh, hardboard underneath it as a backer board. Um, I got both of these at the local uh, home center. I used a pin punch to drive in the rest of the brads. I was able to get them in a little bit further, that way they're not sticking out too far. Thanks for watching my first video. This was a fun project and these are fun pictures to put in them. The one on the left goes to my daughter. It'll match the furniture in her room. The one in the middle goes to my nephew. He's a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan. I'm hoping that he'll be excited to have a print signed by Kevin Eastman. I'll hang mine either in the workshop or in my office. We'll see what my wife says. Thanks again for watching.